Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to store multiple values in one variable using JavaScript arrays. With JavaScript array uh, variables, can, we can store several pieces of data in one place. You start an array declaration with opening square bracket and end it with using a, a close bracket. So you start it using an open bracket, you end it using a close bracket, and you put a comma between each entry like this. So here they've got one, two, three string elements, right? inside of an array. This is very common things. The thing that's really um, useful about arrays is they're ordered. So if you put them in here, if you go, this is element at zero, this is element at one, and this is element at two, and that's kind of the specialty of arrays. So you're going to want to notice that arrays are ordered data. So we're going to modify this a value called my array so that it contains both a string and a number in that order. Refer to the example code in the text editor if you get stuck. Um, okay, so we want to modify the new array so that it contains both a string and a number in that order. So this is a string, and then this is a number. The string is surrounded by commas, and the number is a simple value. This would be, if you made 23 like this, it would also be a string. So that's not right. You want to put a number in there. Um, so what we want to do here is we can just put any string in there. So a string would be something like... Um, Costa Rica and then it wants us to put any number in there so I'd put 22 because that's a number I like now if I run the test this should pass cool now I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about this so we're gonna call this variable um, value types and then I'm gonna set value types equal to 22 and I'm like 22 plus 2 is what 24 right so this would be integer types now, if we console.log, we can say integer types. And then I'm going to put a string after there. And I'm going to say integer types. OK, so what's, what is, what's going on here? Um, integer types is a variable. And we've got 22 plus 2. Now, you see here, what we've, this is an example of us adding together integers and not a string. So let's say if my array was 22, and then this, the, the, if, we sit, if we were to set here where we need to set a string and then an integer, if we were to set it like this, this is a string and this is an integer. And so if we ran the tests right now, they would still pass, right? So if you go 22 plus 2, as if you add two in integers together, you get integer types of 24. But if you were to say do uh, string types, right? And we did this 22 plus 2 we would get, what do you think it'll be? Two twenty-two, two two two, right? Because what we're doing is adding this string, we're adding the, the string of 22, of t the number two, the number two, two, and then we're adding that with a number two. So this is a t an example of adding strings, and then this is an example of adding integers. Integers act like calculators, whereas a string acts like adding uh, sentences together. Another great uh, little quick thing is if you want to be able to test um, value types. And then I'm just adding these to variables just so we can console.log, and then I can just say value types, right? And then I'm just adding this in at the end as this is a way of defining, this is a way of just showing where we are. So right now the value types is equal to n nothing, and so it's showing nothing in the console. Now if we were going to go type of, and then put in uh, 22, this should show up as string. Yeah, see, so this is showing up as, to, as string. Now if we were to remove the, tw the parentheses and make it an integer, well now we have number. This is sort of like the basics of, this is the most basic of what's called data structures. And an array is a list of values in an order, and then a string is a list of characters in, uh, in order, and then there's an integer, which is kind of a different thing because you just, you can make like 22 plus 2 comes out to 24 rather than 2, 2, 2. So I hope this helps, but at the end of the day, you don't need any of this code because if you put in a string and then an, int uh, and then an integer, then your tests will pass. Hope you guys found this helpful. We'll see you in the next lesson.